What in the flying fuck? <laughs> this is gonna be part three. What the hell? <laughs> if you are here in the last Until episode, next time. I'm sorry. But I... My fucking mic is... My, like, ear thing, my, like, headphones weren't even playing their fucking voices and it was only playing the fucking background. My voice may have been beating down, but I'm still up on that damn video. I was so fucking confused. I didn't know, like, I, I swear, I was experiencing very big problems with this game. But I'll allow it. Robot Cowboy, run! Run! Hey, hey, hey guy. Hey guy. Hey asshole. 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 It's me. Asshole, how's it going? What is it? Your dick. That's what it is. Do you need help? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Really? You say you can kick the leader's ass? I think they all wouldn't go after you. They, they think the first guy's just a big bitch about it. Thinking, I don't know. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figured their friends are out for revenge. I think they are, because if you fuck up one guy, it's... What are you gonna do, asshole? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. We will. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. She's actually pretty nice. In this stuff. Let me open her. Great aid, great aid. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, Sunny. I swear to God, if you do that fucking glitch or you come out now and kick my ass, for fucking no reason. I bet she is. Like, she's. Just, that's what happened to me, like, the first few times I played this game. Okay. This is just for backup use. Oh, I guess. I, I really kind of don't trust this game. If I can earn money one way, this game is from doing fucking missions. Hey, hey, dog, dog, dog. Howdy. Hey, hey. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yes. Say no more. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, definitely not me. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. 
You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Well... Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Okay, well, I... Always happy to help someone down on their luck. I'll be waiting. Okay. Hello. So who are you? Spring Sailor. Okay. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yes. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yes. All the more reason for me to sit this one out. I'll be rooting for you, though. Bitch. All the more re Dang it! <laughs> be careful out there. Screw you, too. Damn it. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. I might really want to talk to Chet. <laughs> Until next time. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? We need explosives. <laughs> Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too da- Fuck you. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. She like is gonna- I really haven't done this before, but- I've done, I haven't even dealt with these assholes before, but I, I do like once I'm helping, but okay. Hey, asshole, asshole over here. Hey, no. Where the fuck is that school building? Is this it? Is this it? Stop it. Okay. This gun. Is my objective? Let me in. It's really the abandoned school. That all is abandoned school, but it's very. It's where the fucking cockroaches are gonna come out and know where I keep my ass. You know, it's fucking hate them, damn. It's getting evil. This looks good. I don't know where the fucking heads are gonna go. You looking to buy some supplies? Yes. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Take it easy now. Fuck you. Up, uh, let's just save it here. You can have 1,000 saves in this game? I don't think... Yeah, many people would play this that much. Like, there's that one guy who just spams it for a second and gets game like, no. Okay. 
sir. Well, I'm gonna try this. I might fuck up in this, but see you all in the next video.